The Oshkosh Striker 3000 is an airport rescue and firefighting truck. This model by TWH Collectibles comes in an outer shipping carton and inside the box is wrapped in soft paper. The box is Oshkosh branded and on the bottom is the TWH Collectibles logo. And maybe that will become a rarity after they went out of business in 2013. Good use is made of the box because on one side there's lots of technical information about the Oshkosh Striker. This model has been made in a number of different airport colour schemes and there's a little label on the end which denotes which one this is. It's truck number 7 of Aeroportus Algarve. So you'd see this truck at Faro Airport in Portugal and that airport is operated by a concessionaire which is partly owned by the Vancey Group. A limited edition of 125 models has been commissioned for sale in the Vancey web shop. On getting the model out of the box there is a nice inclusion which is a reprint of an Oshkosh marketing brochure for the Striker 3000. It's not very technical but it's got some nice photos. The expanded polystyrene trays are factory sealed with tape all round and when you slit that you can then lift off the lid and pull out the Striker. This is a highly detailed model so you need to treat it with a little bit of respect getting it out of the box. And there are two bags of parts that have to be fitted. There are some other bits of wrapping to be removed including cling film around one of the turrets, some packing on a ladder and a very awkward piece of tape that has to be removed from the ladder at the back. In the bags that come with the model are some handrails and quite a few mirrors and lights but there's no instructions provided. Fortunately it's fairly easy to see where the parts go. The mirrors just press in at the front but they're slightly on the loose side so you have to watch out that they don't fall out. And up on the roof there are four lights that have to be fitted and they just push into the holes provided. It's best to fit the lights first otherwise it'd be too awkward if you tried to fit them after having fitted the handrails. Looking underneath the transmission is very detailed, but the axles are slightly less realistic because of the large screws that you can see. The wheels have chunky all-terrain tyres, and at the front there are lights and a highly detailed hose turret. Although it's difficult to see into the cab easily, it's full of detail. There are seat belts and the Oshkosh name on the headrest, and the instrument cluster under the steering wheel is represented by graphics. The windows in the roof have graphics applied to represent toughened glass. And there's another turret, complete with a blue hose. There's lots of fine mesh on the roof and the other equipment adds to a realistic look. The body sides are nicely decorated and detailed. And there are good looking roller shutter doors. Under the shutters there's some very high quality detailing. At the back there's some more really nice detailing including the Oshkosh name badge and some towing shackles on the underside. Out on the cranes etc taxiway the striker rolls well enough and looking underneath there are some nice features on the axles with fully sprung suspension. The rear axle also features steering but the range of movement is fairly limited and the same is really true at the front. But again a nice touch is that the front axle has fully sprung suspension. Although the steering angle isn't huge once set the striker will follow a pleasant curve. One interesting small feature on the model is that the access steps under the cab are hinged so they can be folded down for access or raised for rough terrain running. Let's move to the firefighting end of things and the bottom turret can be lowered to get a good angle of attack and the nozzle can also be rotated and raised up and down. With the hose attached it's all a little bit stiff though so you just have to be gentle with it. The same functionality applies to the turret on the roof 
And here you can see the hands of the world's biggest fireman angling the nozzle of the hose. Moving to the back of the model there are a couple of features. One is the access ladder which has a section which folds down. And there's also an opening panel door. To open it it's best to use a plastic pointer that's provided with the model because the fit of the door is very tight. When you open the door and drive the truck at a crazy angle you can see the engine inside. In fact the biggest feature of this model is the large number of opening compartments. Each of the roller shutters along the sides can be opened and there's 10 of them in all. The plastic shutters just move up and here are pointers being used to open them but in fact you can just drag them up by putting your thumb or finger on them. And depending on the particular compartment there's all sorts of detail that can be seen. At the rear end the opening shutter just about lets you see the engine inside. In addition to the roller shutter doors there are also opening panels and again they're a tight fit but you can use the pointer to get them open and there's more detail to be seen inside. There's another neat little feature under a shutter on the right hand side and when it's carefully opened up you can see there's a hose reel inside. But what use is a hose reel if you can't get it out and on this model the reel pulls out into position. Closing the roller shutters is fairly straightforward, you can either use a pointer like this or you can just use your fingers and fingernails. Another neat feature of the model is the ladder which is clipped into position on the roof and it can be unclipped. And that gives you an extending ladder which is ideal for all those little jobs around the house. Now it's time for the genuine imitation, real life test and no expense is spared at Cranes Etc. Although the budget doesn't extend to a burning aeroplane, here's a burning truck that needs some assistance. Fortunately the emergency call has been answered and the Striker 3000 arrives. And using Cranes Etc's patented jet spray system, the fire's quickly extinguished. Oh well, looks like the barbecue truck needs a paint job. This model of the Oshkosh Striker is well up to TWH's standards for model making. It's highly detailed with some excellent functionality. If you have an interest in emergency vehicles, this is an outstanding model.